Confronting their nightmare and their pain. Tonight, six months after a Fort Pierce gunman massacred 49 people at Orlando's Pulse nightclub, a candlelight vigil at the scene marks that day of the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Now survivors try to cope with the aftermath emotionally and physically. Only on 5, Megan McRoberts tells one such story from the gathering tonight. Well, I talked tonight to Marissa Delgado, an Orlando area woman who says she was shot a dozen times. Tonight, coming back here for the first time to the place where she saw her close friends die. A painful but necessary step in her long road to recovery. I still feel like it was yesterday. Six months since the most horrific day of her life. It's not getting any better. 29-year-old Marissa Delgado back to the Pulse nightclub with other survivors and victims' families tonight. I feel like I could just still hear them yelling, so I could feel smell everything. Delgado was out with her friends that night of June 12th. Just after 2 in the morning, she heard the gunfire. You can't get rid of them yelling for their life, begging or pleading. Delgado recalls people grabbing her, trying to use her as a human shield. It had already hit me six times. A friend pulled her into the men's restroom. She saw shooter Omar Mateen walk in. As soon as we sh closed the door and tried to place ourselves is when he came in with the first 15 shots. Delgado was shot 12 times in the mid and lower body. I kind of had a hide under like, you know, bodies to, you know, so that I made sure that I wouldn't get hit again. Then enduring four more hours of horror and hiding while critically injured. One bullet is still lodged in her body. It took months to get through the denial, the anger, the daily anxiety and fear, keeping Delgado from going back to her work as a gas station clerk. I can't go into public sometimes. I'm just always trying to look for an exit. The hardest part, she says, is a feeling of guilt. Because I got shot 12 times and there's people that just got shot once and didn't get to make it. And especially my best friend who I came in with, who we were supposed to leave together. Delgado says her partner, her close friends and family are her lifeline, helping her find her purpose in her survival. I feel like a part of me that day died. I still try to figure out who I am. Delgado only stayed at the memorial service briefly tonight. She says the anxiety set in quickly, but she is grateful for all of the support that she'll likely need for a lifetime. Reporting in Orlando, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.